So there has been a development. I now need to sign 250,000 times to make sure that every copy of the Anthropocene Reviewed Books first printing is signed. I am going to do that. I look forward to the challenge. Thank you for pre-ordering. Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. So not to sound like a hipster YouTube user or anything, but most of the channels I watch on YouTube do not, like, regularly hit the trending page. Like, my very favorite YouTube channel is Dr. Benji FM, in which a guy named Ben plays the video game football manager, imagining a vast universe in which this fictional team called AFC Thames makes their way through the ranks of English football. It's also a profound window into how fandom works, but mostly I just root for the red pixels on the screen. Another channel I love, Curious Tangents, in which host Travis Gilbert models inquiry-based learning by following curious tangents and seeing where they lead. Like in a recent video, he explores what kinds of stress can actually be productive for humans and what kinds are merely dilatory. Tyrius? That's one of those words that I know how to spell, but I don't know how to say. Anyway, then in another video he'll explore, like, the history of dragons. It's wonderful. So a chunk of the ad revenue here at Vlogbrothers goes to sponsoring educational video projects, and I often discover new favorite channels in that process. Like, one recent grantee is Soph's Notes, which is very hard for me to pronounce. Soph's videos are hilarious, like whether they're about why I always have room for dessert, or the science behind hangovers, or which planet would be the most fun to party on, but they're also deeply informational, and because of the way the information is presented, I remember more of it. So I watch them for fun, but then at the end I'm always like, ah, oh, man, they got me, I learned something. Another channel that recently got a Vlogbrothers grant is This Glorious Clockwork, which features beautiful animations about biochemistry, like this video is about ATP synthase, and I didn't even know I was interested in biochemistry, but it turns out that I am myself just a complicated series of chemical reactions, and I would like to better understand those reactions. I am also a massive, massive fan of Karen Puzzles, a Jigsaw Puzzle YouTube channel created by Karen Cavett, who's been a part of Nerdfighteria since 2007. It's just so beautifully shot, and even though I don't have any capacity to do Jigsaw Puzzles, it's so satisfying to watch them get completed. Speaking of longtime nerdfighters, my producing partner, Rosiana Hals Rojas, just celebrated her 15th anniversary on YouTube, meaning that she has now been making videos for more than half of her life. I love all of Rosiana's videos, but I'm especially fond of her travel vlogs, where through unhurried editing you can follow her as she, for instance, bicycles across England. Lastly, It's Radish Time has been uploading video postcards in 2021, and they are stunning and poetic and brilliantly edited and unlike anything I have seen on YouTube before, and and I love them so much. Hank, every year during the Project for Awesome I discover new channels to follow and love as people make videos about their favorite charities. By the way, there is still time to make a Project for Awesome video. They have to be submitted by Wednesday at noon Eastern Time. More info below. Like it says on my 2021 vision board, let's have a beautifully foolish Project for Awesome this year. Hank, even after 14 years on YouTube, I'm still astonished by the creativity in our community. Like last week, a nerdfighter named Julia created an animated video called Lo-Fi Lang Zion beats to sign your name 250,000 times to. I think I'm just gonna leave you with a little of that today. I'll see you on Friday for the Project for Awesome!